So we were on a Trans-Siberian Railroad um, that normally takes two days or something. How about three weeks? The train would pull off. You never knew. It was a one-line one train, you know, east and west, or north and east and west. But you never knew when it pulled away whether you were ever going back. And so it was the scariest time for my parents ever. He always, they always spoke in hushed tones that, you know, if we wake up tomorrow and the, and the, the KGB is there, it's the, the jigs up, you know. They tried to keep all that from me, but children recognize these things. We ended up in Vladivostok, which is the outpost of, on the Japanese Sea. We crossed the Japanese Ocean in a junk boat, which they tell me was not a junk boat. In their view, it was a real ship. But we slept on the floor just the same and um, transported three days across the Japanese Sea to uh, Tsuruga, was the name of the port in Japan. We ended up in Kobe. The Jewish community in Japan was very much um, concerned for us, and not just us. Uh, Sugihara gave out 3,000 visas, and so there was a constant flow. We were the early guys, and that's one of the reasons we made it to the United States, too. Anyway, so we were in Japan, and my parents applied for permission to come to the United States. Very few, a handful got permission. There were very few. And there's reason for that. And we were on that list. And why were you on that list, you know? Yes. I can even show you why I was on that list. Some 50 years later, um, the State Department releases all its documents after 50 years. And one day, I was a member of the United States Holocaust Museum as a council member. I helped create the museum. And the curator, who knew me, called me up and she said, you'll never believe the document I'm looking at. The State Department had released these. We're going through them. They gave it to us. We don't even know why they gave it to us, but here is one reason. I find a official letter from the State Department to the ambassador in Tokyo saying that if a family, Melamdovich, mother and children, <laughs> is in Japan, give them passage to the United States. They are on the endangered list. The endangered list meant they were being chased both by the Germans and the, and the Russians. So he was on that, we were on that list. It's a, I don't know, there were 300 or so probably on that list. And the AFL CIO had submitted that list to the State Department and it got, it was granted uh, permission. And this letter went out, the official statement went out with all the stamps I'll show you.